Second down. Second down. See Madrano coming there as the second man. Humphrey had him stood up. Madrano comes in, punches it out. Nice job by Rice to get on that football. Ruling on the field is a fumble and a recovery by the offense. The previous play is under review. It's going to be awfully hard to overturn any time you have some sort of a pile. Because if you can't see the ball, you can't overturn the ruling on the field. So you look at Lincoln Riley in year two, 11. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing nothing they can see from there. Not going to be clear. Surprised they buzzed down to take a look at this. After review, the ruling on the field of a fumble and a recovery by the offense stands as called. Again, it's kind of purposeless to really review those in the first place. I mean, they've already looked at it. So they're looking at every play, but right. to buzz down, as you said, means you want to look at it more. But again, if you can't see the ball, how can you overturn it? Be second down and two on the USC 48 yard line. I'm gonna hand it off here. Austin Jones in trouble and wrapped up for a loss at the 47. UCLA, one of the nation's leaders in tackles for a loss. That was Carl Jones Jr. As good a rush defense as there is in college football. I think coming in statistically number two in the country. Anton Lynn, first year defensive coordinator, the young 34 year old, has done a masterful job retooling this UCLA defense. They will flat out get after you up front. Gonna go empty here on third down and three. Williams to Zachariah Branch, and he's thrown down short of the line to gain. Good tackle by Kenny Churchwell. Brings up fourth down. Let's we'll see if USC goes for it. Oh boy, Zachariah Branch has got so much speed and explosiveness. They just want to get in the ball in space. And Kenny Churchill's in man-to-man -man coverage running stride for stride. Very good open field tackle. Set up this fourth and short. Already big play in this opening drive for the Trojans. And USC going for it on fourth down and two. Do they get Caleb Williams out on the perimeter? Potentially a run pass option. They're going to run it, and they did not get it. Nowhere to go for Austin Jones. There's that UCLA front coming up big. Welcome to winning possession. Well, this front, as we touched on, one of the best in all of college football. Excellent penetration by Gabriel Murphy, by Jay Toia. Big time stop. And on first down, Garbers dumping it off to Keegan Jones. And Jones thrown down after a gain of nine. UCLA has lost two straight. Uh, you can see the rest of the battle for Los Angeles over. USC fans, and he said, I am not a USC fan at all. He picks up the first down here running. And Garber's down to the 26. Statistically, USC has been one of the worst defenses in the country this year. This is one of the things Ethan Garber's does so well. Surveys the field, doesn't like what he sees, sees open grass out in front, and he's going to take that. You go back to watch the Stanford game, Colorado game, made similar plays. I like that start for Ethan Garber's Tom. There's no doubt about it. It was a great start for Ethan Garbers right there, and he takes what the defense gives him, and if he means taking it with his legs, by all means, that's what they want. Efficiency and decision-making. UCLA at 6-4, and 3-4 and four in league play. They have one more game after today. They face Cal next week. They're going to run it here. Inside the 25, T.J. Harden down to the 23. USC started the game with possession. Caleb Williams had a couple completions, moved the team out to midfield. But UCLA with a tackle for a loss on third down and short, and then stuffed USC trying to run the ball on fourth down. UCLA, one of the best defenses. USC, one of the best offenses in the country. Completion to the tight end, Matavau. First down and goal at the seven-yard line. Well, I like this. Matavau just finds some open space right in the middle of that defense. Easy pitch and catch. Good, quick decision by Ethan Garbers. This has been the problem zone for UCLA so far this year. As bad as anybody in the country. The last two games, eight red zone trips, only 17 points. Give it to Harden inside the five down to the three because you look overall at UCLA I mean they're one of the top teams in the country and running the football they do great between the 20s but when they get down here as you just mentioned they've had trouble punching it in it's a team that at one point was ranked 18th in the country they won nine games under Chip Kelly last year 
eight wins two years ago. Like this formation for short yardage. Trying to get win number seven today. They're going to run it to Carson Steele, bouncing off a defender and down to the one. It'll be third and goal. Three back set. Bring in Anthony Atkins. It's kind of like a fullback. You see Carson Steele, the Ball State transfer. Got that physicality he runs with. We've already seen TJ Harden. He touched on it. This offense, over 200 yards on the season, is who Chip Kelly is. I expect they're going to try to power this football into the end zone. They were stuffed a week ago in these situations. Same formation on third down and goal. And they hand it off to Harden. And he's into the end zone for the UCLA touchdown. The Bruins take advantage of the SC turnover on downs. Nice job up front off the left side. Spencer Holstead. He's going to get a good seal here. You're going to see lead up from Atkins in the hole. And T.J. Harden's able to finish the rest. Really nice job off the left side of that offensive line. And the problems from a week ago fixed and remedied here on this opening possession for the Bruins as they punch it in for six. Obviously helps when you have your starting quarterback back. Well, that was weird. <laughs> the extra point is actually good, but he had a bad hold. The place kicker, Blake they're hesitant. One of the most unique in college sports because you have both teams wearing their home uniforms. Yeah. Only 13 miles separate the two schools, but depending on L.A. traffic and rain, could take hours. You never know. And what's so great about this, so many of these guys grew up playing against each other, going back to Pop Warner, middle school, high school. They pick their own schools, and they get a chance to get after it here today. It's not so much about hate as it is pride to win this battle for Los Angeles. Caleb Williams in his final regular season game, maybe his final college football game, period. Almost got picked off by Darius Lewis. It's been spectacular for a second, really third straight season. The improvisation, the ability to extend plays second to nobody in college football. The athleticism, the arm strength is off the charts. Fires one in there complete to Brendan Rice. Second catch out to the 31, tackled by Medrano. So to bring up third down, this UCLA defense, as we mentioned, one of the tops in college football, number two against the run, number nine in points allowed. In fact, they give up just 16 points per game, the lowest at UCLA in 32 years. And a terrific young D coordinator in Danton Lynn. In his first season, a Broyles Award nominee. A third down and five, a flag down, some movement there pre-snap on USC. Well start, offense, number 76, five yard penalty, remains third down. It's on the right guard, Mason Murphy, let's check him with Tom. Well, Dusty, you just referenced this defensive front for UCLA being so disruptive, and they are. They can create all kinds of havoc. If we've seen with SC now in their second series, a lot of quick passing game. Caleb Williams get the ball out of his hands here on third down. And in trouble getting rid of it as he was about to get sacked, and he completed it to the tight end, McCree. He gets walloped at the 30-yard line. It's going to be fourth down and five. Let's see if uh, Lincoln Riley punts or goes for it again. Pressure that time by Keanu Williams. Well, watch him on the inside. So good. And it's pressure right in the face, right in the lap of Caleb Williams. Really good with his hands, working on Dita to center. And Caleb Williams, nowhere to go. Got to just get rid of the football quickly. And then it's rally to the ball. Another stop here. In the first two possessions for this Bruins defense. They are flying around and getting after it. This USC offensive line will have their hands full all day. As good a defensive front getting after the quarterback as you'll see in college football. It's been a struggle up front all year. Lost a couple guys last year. They were all Americans on that O-line. Loya under it, and the fair catch made at the 27. UCLA offense back on the field when we return. The Bruins midway.